I'm Per Eriksson. Uh, so here we are in Funaluch in Mallorca. And we're here together with the chef, Santi Tara, who is our guide to the traditional Mallorquin kitchen and the native wines that you can find here on the island. So let me ask you, uh, if I were to find uh, 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 an inventor within the wines here in Mallorca, who should you think I should visit? <laughs> I think it's uh, Francais Grimald of Quatre Kilos change the way of the points of view of the Mallorcan wines. Uh, is uh, of the mainland, uh, of here, of the outside Mallorca. Uh, he changed the, the thing of the Mallorcan wines of uh, a lot of people. No? And Francais Grimald is, I think, is uh, one of the best. And we're just outside the, the little village of Felenix. And we're at the winery here, the Cuatro Kilos. And we're here to find out uh, about their uh, organic way of producing wine. So we're about to meet uh, the winemaker, uh, Francis Grimald, to hear about how he takes care of the vineyards, but also producing different uh, wines under different labels. If you were to explain for somebody that never tasted the wines of uh, Quattro Kilos, <laughs> what would you say? For example, you, you, we use the, the local variety, Cagliette, Cagliette and Montenegro, and give the, the wines, the, the wines, elegant wines, and the, not big body, like Shiraz, for example. The Shiraz give for Merlot, or Cabernet give for big body. The, the the Cagliette or the four kilos and twelve balls is but four kilos is more uh, wine. The, the, remember the some Garnage or Nebbiolo or maybe Pinot Noir. No, is the on the for example four kilos use the the Shira and, and Cabernet Sauvignon the old Cagliette, Cabernet Sauvignon the old Shira and the, this more body. How did you get interested in wine for um. the very first time? <laughs> Good question. Because uh, when I, when I was a child, uh, I I love the, the the harvest because it's for me is magical. Because the, the, when you smell the the aromes, the, the fragrance, and they are a, a big cooperative in in, in Felon Age and the, like a, like a castle to the Harry Potter. You know, because it's, it's very special the the flavor and the, the sounds and the, I love this. Starting the, the the Quattro Kilos, Yes. how did that happen? When Where did the name come from? Ha, the name is the, the idea from the, my partner, from Sergio Caballero. And the, the side, the, the most important is the, the most important is the vineyard and the enthusiasm. And the, because in, the, in, in the Spain, all the people in, in, in this moment, in, in 2006, only, all the, a lot of people explained uh, the, the big bills and the, I spent a lot of money, I contract the, the famous architect. So if you were to explain the different wines, how many vi varieties do you have? I have a lot of varieties because uh, I use the, local variety, the local varieties because uh, the old vineyards in Mallorca, like uh, Oporto, like uh, the old vineyards in, in Spain and use the different varieties. But uh, we have uh, Fogoneo Mallor uh, Mallorquin, Fogoneo Francés, Callet, Mantonegro, Valen, Gorgolias, Vinatec, etc. etc. And, uh, and uh, take some, some varieties, uh, brown varieties, uh, Cabernet and, and Shira. Mm -hmm. But uh, because uh, I use in the clay soil the, the Cabernet and Shira. And as I understand, this is one of the vineyards that you yes. have. How many vineyards do you have? Uh, I have a big problem with the number, I can't remember, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think uh, we have 20 vineyards. In the, I, we, have, uh, uh, we have a vineyard and the rent the vineyards and the buy the, the grapes, but uh, they are uh, on, only thing the most important is the grow with the organic system. All yeah. the vineyards, because yeah. uh, we ha we have uh, certified. So you're certified organic yes. wines, yeah. Yes, what does it mean to be certified organic here in Mallorca? For for us, is the is a is not a concept to the, for a market. Is the, the concept for a life in general. When, when you uh, when you live in the in this area, you need to respect the, the environment because the, you respect the environment and the, the environment respect you. 
it's, it's too easy because uh, you need a clean atmosphere for uh, produce the good wines. I don't understand the, the kill the soils, uh, destroy the atmosphere because the, the, the agriculture sometimes is very contaminated. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in some cases, but uh, I, you need to respect the, the soil, respect the, the atmosphere. So the different vineyards, this one is in the forest almost. Yes. Uh, the other vineyards, are they on the flatland or? Yes, they are. We have vineyards in the flat. We have vineyards in the in the middle of the forest. There are uh, three plots, I think, in, in different in different forests. Uh, and uh, we have vineyards in Minisalem when the, the soil is very uh, there are very uh, stones and uh, because of different plots and different soils and different uh, places. So from the vineyard into the winery, uh, in the winery, how do you produce the wine? What methods are you using within well, the wine? A lot of methods. I use the, the I produce the wine without sulfur because the look for, the, the the wines uh, with sulfur or, uh, or without sulfur is like uh, to play the guitar. I use the distortion and use the distortion is the is the only the, the concept is the. Because, uh, for example, I, I need uh, more oxidation, more uh, more different things in in the wines. Don't use sulfur. And when you use this, hey, I need preserve this fruity. I need preserve to the against um, against some micro microorganisms. I use the sulfur. And uh, this is and they use the carbonic maceration because the, I love the carbonic maceration because in the Mediterranean is a perfect uh, place for uh, for produce the carbonic maceration because it's the warm area. Yeah. And uh, and uh, after this is the three methods I use normally. There's a lot of discussions in the wine world uh, mm -hmm. about uh, natural wines, organic wines, biodynamic wines. What's your take on that? Uh, is it just a lot of words, or what is the real deal? The organic wines. We have uh, organic wines and the uh, and the natural wines. Right? And we have uh, wines we without minimal inter uh, without sulfur or minimal intervention. This is the natural wines. And, uh, and, uh, it's very is a concept very complicated because it don't have a, a definition. But the, for example, the grow the, the organic wines is the, from the organic vineyards, and this is the certified when you when you use the the, the substance, don't residual in the in the residual is okay on yeah, the, yeah. in the in the soil or yeah. in the atmosphere and yeah. and it's very uh, the, so easy to create this this substance you use for uh, against fungus etc yeah. etc et and uh, and there the biodynamics. Um, Wines because uh, use the the the, the learn the, the the knowledge of the, about uh, Rudolf Steiner and this you see terminology on these three uh, yeah. see different styles. Yeah. But so, there are good wines in natural wines and the bad wines in natural wines, good wines in organic wines, bad wines in organic wines, and bad wines in. In the biodynamic wines, is the yeah. the biodynamic uh, change the, the people yeah. more than the vineyards. Yeah, I see that as a, com a concept, as a philosophy concept. So, uh, Quattro Kilos being one of uh, the top wines in Mallorca, but also one of the top Thank wines. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're also in the top of the comparison to other wines around in the world. Where do you sell your wines uh, outside of Mallorca? Uh, a lot of places, uh, in Japan, in Peru, in. Switzerland, in Sweden, in Germany, or in England, in Scotland, in, in Ireland, in the United States. Yeah. Which is your biggest market outside of Mallorca? Mm, the biggest market and the, the quantity or the prestige. Because there's two, two different things. Because, yeah. uh, for example, now the, the, I think the, the capital, the most important city in the, in the world about wines now maybe is London. Uh, Quattro Kilos being one of the good winers here in Mallorca. Uh, if you look, thank you. <laughs> if you look ahead, uh, three years, where will you be from now? Uh, I am, I, I am a happy man because uh, because the work with uh, with uh, some I, I love, and uh, this is my life. And I think the three years in the. I produce more mistakes and the, and the produce more solution and the, the and the take more 
take more uh, knowledge about the vineyard, about the wines. So if you were to give an advice to a young person that wants to become a winemaker like yourself, what would you say? Enjoy the life, enjoy the, your work, because when you love the, the work, you, you, you is, a, is a good winemaker. Thank you.